everybody what is up guys and welcome back to the channel uh, don't have a whole lot of time today to fish but my buddy sent me uh, two different pictures of some giant smallmouth he caught today so it kind of made me want to just get out in the water and fish uh, I gotta be somewhere later so I really only have like an hour at the max to fish so I'm gonna hustle down get on get to the river and I, I just I brought I got my waders in my truck and all my gear in my truck so uh, didn't even really plan on fishing today but I had all my gear with me and I was gonna be kind of close to this spot anyway with what I got to do today so I figured uh, I just go ahead and do some fishing I got uh, like I said an hour to fish so I'm gonna grab my phone and I'm gonna set a timer for one hour and that's all I'm gonna fish and we're gonna see how many fish we can catch all I want to do is catch one big one and then numbers I, I ain't too worried about numbers i just want to catch one big fish but i'll kind of just do some of these little power hours sometimes when because I, I usually just keep my gear in my truck so i mean i can just do these little power hours just try to set some goals or whatever just trying to challenge yourself or whatever but it should be fun uh nice out today uh, i think we're starting to get some overcast now so that's good but probably throw around the Ned rig just try to get a bunch of bites with that and then uh, probably the tackle HD swimmer and maybe just a jig kind of the baits that I always throw you know I mean they it's hard to not throw one of those baits because I mean that's what I get bit on almost 90% of the time so but I will see you guys when I get to the river I'll be there in about 30 minutes we will we gotta walk a little ways, but then we'll set our timer and we will get to fishing. Hopefully we get into some big ones today. Stick around. All right guys, we got a little bit of a walk here and then I will start the timer once I get down in the water before I make the first cast. This got the Tackle HD swimmer rigged up on this. This only has six pound test on it, so I'm gonna have to be easy with them. I didn't have time to re-rig some stuff up. I just had what I had in my truck. I got my new tackle bag with my other reel on there. I just got a Ned rig on there. It's got some like 15 pound braid to a, I think 12 pound liter, mono liter or floral liter on it. So that'll, that'll be able to handle them fine, but this is gonna be a little tricky. Uh, got my cheap muddy waders on, just in case I need to get out into some deeper water. But I'm just looking to catch a couple fish today really just doing a little quarantining if you guys are all stuck at home and don't know what to do just grab some rods and just go walking i mean if you're you're already stuck at home you ain't got nothing to do even if you don't catch a whole lot every fish and water that ain't super productive i mean it's still better than losing your damn mind at home so i will talk to you guys when i get up here to the river and we'll start the timer and get to fishing all right guys made it down to the water let me see my phone one hour. All right, let's see how many we can get in an hour. We we could possibly get zero, which I'm hoping is not the case. But I think we can find some around here. We get out of this deep hole. Too deep, too deep, too deep. Too deep. I just sank. About filled my waders up and soaked my backpack. My new pack almost got ruined. There's one, guys. Nice little smallie on the Tackle HD swimmer. Little bitty guy to start it. There's one. I just muddied up all this water right here, too. Dang it. I just got smoked by another one.
First cast, guys. First cast, we caught one. Had a bite on the second cast. My buddy, my buddy makes these swim heads. Actually, a buddy of a buddy. They work pretty good. You got that sideways eyelet there. Helps it wobble a little more, which these Tackle HD swimmers already wobble pretty good alone, but that little weed guard saves you so many swim bait hooks, I'm telling you. Without that weed guard on there, you just get hung on every rock. So to try to get this thing bouncing along the bottom. It's bouncing off all the rocks down there. A little dink largey. That's two fish in the hour so far. There's one, guys. There's another, there's another one bigger than this following it, guys. Decent little smolly here. Nice little fat smolly. There's a big one following it. So hopefully we can get that bigger one to bite. It must not just want be wanting to swim bait too much. All right, guys, let's see what the old Googling, Googling Rattling Ned can do. Let's see if they're wanting some of that today instead. There's one, guys. Got another one attacking it, I think. Oh, there we go. There's four, number four, a little chunker. Be able to pull off quite a few here, guys. They keep biting the way they're doing. I can fish this back down too. I'm fishing kind of quick. The stretch isn't super long, so at least productive water. The stretch isn't very long. There's one. That one's right on the bank. A little squeaker. A little bitty squeaker. That's number five. See you later. Alright, there's five.
walk right up here to this little spot. And then I will fish this back down and maybe hit up another spot real quick. I don't have a ton of time. This hook is a little too small. Try to shorten this thing down a little bit. That was the biggest one so far, guys. Number six. I need a new, need a new Ned. That one's tore up. Try to grab around my pack here. These rattling Neds work great, but they definitely do not hold up like the Z-Man Neds do. I know that. There's one. Number seven. Ain't like you knew I was there, but still, it's frustrating. What are we at, seven? Let's try to hit at least 10. There's one. Feels like a good fish there. Not real good. Not real good, but he's a little better. Number eight, guys. Number eight. Maybe we can still catch some here. Screw that guy in his boat. He said he ain't caught anything all day. That's why you don't need a boat. We got 15 minutes left, guys. Down here. 
That's only one good bite. Oh, there's a good one, guys. This is a good one. I can't, I can't even move them. Oh, are you kidding me, guys? That was the fish right there. You've got to be kidding me. Well, that was about 18 incher, at least. Gosh, that makes me mad. That was, a, that was the bite, guys. That was the fish I was waiting for, and that was the bite I needed. There's one. Do not come off. Oh yeah, this is a big one guys. Do not come off. Oh, there's a drop off right here. Oh, do not come off. Do not come off. Do not break me off. Oh my god. Oh, do not come off. He's barely hooked. Look at that fish, guys. That is what I am talking about. I probably got five minutes left to fish. <sighs> Look at that baby there. That is a smallie there. I literally have three minutes to spare, guys. You'll hear my timer going off here in just a second. <sighs> that one I lost right here, guys, that came off was probably 17 incher, and that was about a 19, probably. Just out here, right on this current seam, with a little bitty freaking Ned rig on my little light rod. <sighs> what a beast. We're gonna, I'm gonna fish till my timer goes off. Maybe we can get one more. Whew. That gets your heart pumping. He was out here in this real swift current. I can't move him anywhere with this rod. And this setup I got right here. I didn't plan on catching anything, I mean, that big. I mean, I, know that I knew there was a chance, but that was freaking crazy. There's the time. There's the timer, guys. There goes the timer. I'm gonna make one more cast, and we're gonna start heading back. My hook is bent, guys. 
that fish bent my hook. Look at that. The hook is bent outwards. I'm going to make one more cast. Rig this back up real quick. I'm gonna throw one more cast right here and then that is the end of the hour session. And I will take that for an hour. Nine fish and one giant. Can't beat that for just coming out here and fishing for a quick hour. <clears throat> All right guys, I am back in the truck and heading to my brother's place. That was a good hour of fishing there. Uh, I, I went down in the river and I was throwing that swim bait around at first and I was getting some bites on it, but nothing too crazy. And I probably would have threw that swim bait a lot longer, honestly, but uh, I actually hung it up on a rock or something broke it off so then instead of just retying a swim bait on I was lazy and just grabbed my other rod that had the Ned rig on it and I knew I'd probably get a bunch of little bites on it so you see as you've seen I caught a bunch of little squeakers pretty much on that Ned rig came back out to kind of where I started fishing and uh through that Ned rig first cast right there where I very first started I lost probably a 17 18 incher and I was pretty depressed about that because I was I wanted to, I just wanted to get one bite around the 17 18 inch mark and so I was all bummed out about losing that fish and then literally the very next cast I threw out and t like max cast I threw it and like second third twitch that uh, big one you guys see me catch just hammered it I, as soon as I twitched it I felt him just smoke it take off with it set it and it was just a wall and he, he was kind of out in the current too and it was pretty swift right there and i got uh that's just a medium rod or no i think it's a medium heavy but it's a shorter rod and i got some lighter line on it it's braid but it's light braid and then just 10 pound or 10 or 12 pound mono or floral i mean on the end of it so nothing too crazy i mean to handle fish like that especially out in the current you know it makes them feel a lot bigger but luckily I was, the hook stayed in and i was able to land it and, uh, I don't know how good you guys see on the camera, but he actually bent that Ned rig hook. It bent it outward. So, I mean, that fish could easily come off. But that is going to do it for today. And I thank you guys all for watching again if you guys are a returning subscriber. And if you haven't done so yet, please, down below, hit that subscribe button. Help me out. I'm trying to get to 1,000 by this summer. So, I will catch you guys on the next episode.